You're now tuned in to Sociology, a lifestyle brand that analyzes Chicago culture and connected topics abroad, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And I'm your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor from True Stories Media. All right, so um, in y'all opinion, when does grilling season officially start in Chicago? Because the damn sure don't start in summer. That you late if you just start grilling in the summer. So when does it start? Grilling season is year round. I was gonna say uh, grilling season is year round in this household. So it never ends. It no, never it does ends. not. We grill a turkey every year. I know, I know people that grill in the snow. You know what I'm saying? As long as they yeah. got like, as long as they got some shelter over their head. Yeah. 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 You know, they grilling in the snow. They grilling, you know, when it's 20 degrees outside. Absolutely. You know, because it's going to keep you warm if nothing else. Yeah. I mean, you know, I um, don't volunteer to go outside, but I will season meat. So Julian <laughs> can go out there and freeze as much as he likes. However, he'll normally have some type of brown liquor. <laughs> okay. Okay. And a beer, and I keep him supplied with that, and we grill. You're okay. right. Yeah, it's like an efficient, you know, tandem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it really is. It works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that, that's usually how it goes with, you know, married couples or, you know, um, couples in relationships. You know, the woman sees it. And, you know, these ain't gender specific roles. I want to just put no. that out there. No, no, I just want to put not. that out there. These are not gender specific roles, but in many cases, you know, the woman is doing the seasoning. You know, getting it prepared. And one can say that that position is probably more important than the griller. What do y'all what do y'all so, say to that? I think that it's both though, because see, like you said it's not gender for spe- gender specific. Uh Julian can season his ass off. Like Okay, I mean it looked like it. It looked like he can. I mean, he can yeah, he I can, can season. Um he can season down. Now I I'll, I'll season if it's like a lot of a, like a whole lot of food. But you know, I feel like the griller is a is a bigger part to me because you can season food down, but if the food get burnt up, what's the point? Mm, that's true. That's true. Like ain't nothing like no burnt. Don't nobody want that hockey puck chicken? Nobody wants that. Like if 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 my teeth, you know, feel like they're getting broken in half by the Hulk when I'm biting into a rib, I don't want that. That part, like I mean. <laughs> You got to be that. reasonable here. You you have to be under look, okay. So my love for grilling and okay. grilled food came from my father. Okay. My father, even when he was like in his sickest, bust out about the hospital to cook on the fourth of July. Mm. Okay. So when and I tell you the food got to be right, like you got to take your time, you got to cook it low and slow. Looking ain't cooking, as Look I learned cooking. from my father in law. Mm. Who, say, who says that all the time? Looking ain't cooking, and you have to understand. You have to finesse the grill. Like you can't just get on. Don't get on the grill playing with the grill. Yeah, you gotta know what you're doing. Yes, I know what you're doing. You can't be no rookie, man. Like you can't be no Neo mm-hmm. out here on the grill because you know that's how you get hey, cussed out. Unfortunately, hey, hey tr- and twins. Speaking of the Neo, but the, the Neos Neo. be on the grill though. So don't, don't, look, I mean, Neo don't belong on the grill though. That's be on the grill. This is. But, but see, look, this is a tough place. This, this is where, you know, I feel like a lot of people mess up at, though. You know, and, you know, this is a short, you know, Greek segment. I feel like every Neo doesn't belong on a grill just because they a Neo. You know, no, man. True. No. Yeah, yeah I agree with you on that. No, the, the Neo already has to have some type of culinary experience. Oh, my God. On the grill <laughs> before you put them on that. Because, look, look, you know, I had an incident, you know what I'm saying, where it was some Neos on the grill and they ain't know what the hell they was doing. Right. I'm like I'm I'm biting into a bloody chicken. Like I'm Ooh. like I'm dragging. Yeah, you know, know, come on, bro. Like, that experience. I've like, been you know. to numerous places and I think I've experienced that once or twice. And the older the older brothers had to step in because brothers was about to die of, of food poison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. So so yeah, so to uh Auntie Phil's point. Um, <laughs> to, to, to your point um, I do think the griller is definitely the most important because that's the end game you yeah. know what I'm saying that's the, that's the end game you know you're the one that's bringing us home you and can't burn the hell out the seasoning you can't do that man you can't that's do that good, like good season on it too the only thing that, that can be burnt is hot dogs I feel like burnt hot dogs are a thing and I prefer them actually yeah, yeah like I feel like you know um, that's the only meat that's like acceptable to be burnt 
You know, maybe you can have a little char on the burger, you know, depending on your flavor, you know, how you get down. Depending on the size of the burger, too. Yeah. Because yeah. that could be a hockey puck. <laughs> like, you can definitely like you know have your uncle drink a little bit too much here and throw that at somebody a, a, a wrong grilled burger could be a weapon you gotta you gotta get that to the blackhawks if it's um if it's that right. yeah that absolutely yeah. drop that off at the united center in the winter time they good to go that is terrible okay so so um where y'all used to so you know chicago got a plethora I don't even know I said that word right. Chicago has a yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Chicago has a lot of motherfucking grocery stores, has a lot of history with grocery stores, right? Mm-hmm. We talk about grilling, you know, so grilling season never stop. You know, the weather break, whatever. They tell you run to the stove. You know, what stove you going to get your meat from back in the day? Moinoink. Moinoink. There we go. All right. Oh, 71st. 71st. You know, Moinoink, rest in peace. Rest you know, rest um, in peace. you know, bro, look, I swear to God. More no, it don't matter if it was summer or winter, it was always negative 50 in that motherfucker. It was with them nasty ass um drapes that you had to walk through. I hated them damn things. I hated them. Dude, I hated them. Like, I used to always try to like whenever somebody go through first, I used to like go right behind them so I ain't gotta touch it. Like yes. them motherfuckers, like it's like they came dirty. They came out the box dirty. They did, head. but you yeah. know what? More oink. So more oink used to have these okay, because my my family really like pizza. We used to do pizza every Friday. So um, you know, Homer and pizza used to come in an extra large version, and you could only get it from one oink. Really, I did not know day. that. I did not yes. know that. And yes. I've been looking for that little extra large pizza, and you can't find it. I was like, they done only sold that to the one oink. Wow. I mean, it makes sense because more noise was popping back in the day. So it's like everybody was up in there. You yes. know what I'm saying? Now, granted, I wasn't really eating home run pizza like that, though. Like, I ain't really get down with home run pizza like that. I like they to go pizza. I don't like the restaurant. Oh, Twin, I just yeah, picked up what we did for us, too, dog. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, see, that, now we see, look, open pit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know. I just really want y'all to be better people. Open pit is the superior barbecue sauce. It's, it's time it's that nice. we. It's the spirit. It's the spirit. It's the best barbecue sauce, guys. It's not. It, 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 it's not. It, 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 Sweet baby Ray's is where it's at, and y'all know it. And that's just that. That's that on that. I mean, it's cool. You know, it's cool. Like, you know, I, I'm not. I'm not going to not eat Sweet Baby Ray's. All right. When, when I have but, people over, I buy one of each. Okay. Yeah. Smart. Because you know, ne- you never know what people want. You know, people will be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Here's some Sweet Baby Ray's for you. Boom. Yeah, you never know what people want, but you know, um, well, sweet- well, if you got some money, get you some Kurt's boss sauce. That's if you got some, you okay. want to spend, spend the three dollars. Okay. Yeah, the- yeah, getting a little fancy there, getting a little fancy there. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and and you know the thing with open pit is more flexible too. Like you could do more with it. You know what I'm saying? You can it up, as my grandma was saying. Yeah, you, yeah, you, doc- you can yeah, doctor yeah. open pit up. You, you got to doctor that up, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that with Sweet Baby Ray's. It is what it is. Because they came doctored up. You yeah. shouldn't have to buy nothing and, and keep going. I mean, but you know, if we if we you know everybody you know putting a culinary foot in these dishes these days, right? If you if you the if you the grill master, if you the season master, you should want to doctor something up. You should want it to be the flavor that you desire, and you know. I mean, I guess. Like I mean, you know, we <laughs> ain't, you know, said, we ain't guess. culinary artists like you are over there. Like we just seen some yo y'all work over there, but uh, <laughs> like, you know, we do what we can. But <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I do feel like um with open pit, like I like it for the sweetness, and I'm not gonna lie, like before I got married, like I definitely was not eating no open pit. Like, no, uh-uh. Oh. Not with sweet baby rays. Uh-uh. Oh. oh. You know, I think I think sweet baby rays is just like, you know, it's like the popular new kid on the block. Not even really new, I'm just saying. But open pit is what rays does, you know. I mean, it did, but then, oh, you know... Open what? Pit is like the uncle that still stay with grandma. Like, you can't really let it go. In the basement. In, in, in the, the basement. basement. In you know the what basement. I'm saying? With the, with, the, with the blanket over the uh, over the couch. That's facts. Those are facts. You know what I'm saying? With a 211 on the um dresser. Not the 211 on the dresser. My God. <laughs> <laughs> my God today. He that uncle that call you up and ask him to take him to the stove. Yep, he the one that say run to the stove. He's the one. You know why? Because he's the one that's grilling, too. That's why Granny keep him around. One of the reasons why because the food gonna be popping. The food gonna be popping. He he learned it from granddaddy. He been grilling ever since 1962. Jesus was a teenager. You know, man. Wearing short pants. Man, you know. So you know, he the one that's telling you run to the store. He the one that's gonna tell you to get that open pit. That's true. That is true. He that uncle that's gonna give you a whole list. 
Holeless. And the exact how much it's gonna cost. Yep. No tax. No tax. No he tax. Gonna, he gonna he, nowadays, you know, a lot of our olders got the got the debit card. Back in the day, they gave you that cash. He gave you sixty dollars. Sixty. And told you the exact store to go to. Yep. Whether it was more and oink or somewhere else. Get this, get this, get this. Then yes. when you got then when you got older, mm-hmm. go to the store. Give me a 30 pack of high life. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Give me a, a fifth of uh if it was hot, he probably wanted some bump, little bump face. Uh oh, the bumpy face. Oh my god. The bumpy face. I just threw up thinking about it. And yeah. And he then looked, his, and as his, we all said. And then he's the one to say, don't bring the lick in so mama won't see it because she's gonna get on my she gonna get on my case. Yeah, bring yeah, he, in, and he ain't trying to hit that. He ain't trying to hit it. He ain't got no, he ain't got no uh, money on his uh, card for his car fare. So he ain't, if, if mama put him out, you know, where he gonna go? He gonna have to walk to, you know, Cousin Ray Ray house, you know, down there on 55th. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but he don't like going over there because that's what a crackhead is. And, you know, he the one who grilled, man. He the one who yeah. grilled. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> get him some hot links. Get him some poke chops. You know what I'm saying? You know, you he, he know what you need to get with that $60. I'm still ready for outside to open this conversation. Yeah, it, it's time, man. You know, because it's like. But, but speaking of grilling, like speaking of like sixty dollars now, a lot of people feel like a lot of people like sixty dollars. That's not enough. I said, shoot, depends on where you go and what. Yeah. What yeah. and one depends on where you go, what you're barbecuing, and how many people you try to well, serve. Cause, that's cause exactly like, exactly. You go to twenty five exactly. grocery stores. So. Exactly. You know, grilling ain't a one fit all type of thing. You know, are you grilling just for the house? Are you grilling for the you know the close friends? Are you trying to set it out? You know, it is right. levels to it, like Julian said. Absolutely. Like when life comes for that, yeah. You know, um, so like you know, so more annoying gone. Unfortunately, you know, rest in peace. We can't go there no more. Right. So, w- w- where do y'all get y'all meat when it's grilling time? Uh, do you go to some random meat house? Where's that meat house? Uh, I go Peoria to Market. Peoria. I either go to Peoria or I go to uh, Park Place. 40- where, where, where's Peoria? Forty Second and Ash, across from the Swap. No Peoria. Rock. No Peoria is off Lake Lake and Peoria. Yes. Yeah, so okay. I'm- okay. So we we north now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so so you go north to Peoria, and where was the other one at? Uh, west on Forty Second and Ashland. Forty Second and Ashland. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a lot of good shit over there. A lot of good shit over there. Um, yeah, you know we um, you know we usually get our chicken from like mm-hmm. um Mariano's or Whole Foods. Um, you know. That is my. That's me. Okay. Like, first of all, Ju- okay. Not to put mm. Julian on blast right now while Uh-oh. he's trying to act. Okay. Julian is so bougie. Okay. Like, I'll be like, I I do go to Mariano's. Like, I I frequent at the Mariano's. Yeah. Like, they have it all. They got a wine bar. They cook your food there. Like, it works out. Yeah. But Julian literally just came in here with like four bags from Whole Foods. Like you selling dope? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, you buy one steak from Whole Foods, that motherfucker is sixty dollars by itself. Fact. But it's, it's gonna be the best steak of your this. life, though. It's gonna he be the best in, steak of your life. He came in here with seafood from oh. Whole Foods. It's no, I okay. said it came out. I saw the package. It came from Whole Foods. He oh, dope, y'all. Oh, <laughs> it was on. I buy was on sale. Okay. He does. He does do um the good. He does find a good sale though, and good coupons. Yeah, yeah. You can't forget them coupons, man. Um, yeah. You know the the meat. You know is 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 organic. You know what I'm saying is uh pasture raised. You know what I'm saying when you get it from Whole Foods. So you really can't go wrong when you get it there. You know, Correct. You can't you can't go wrong when you get it there. Um, Mariano's. You know, you got to know what you're looking for at Mariano's. You know, they do have organic chicken and stuff there too. Um. But yeah, you know, Mariano's is cool. We we don't like go full blown grocery shopping at Mariano's, so we don't. Nobody do that. should. No nah, hell nah. We, <laughs> no, no. We got stimulus checks coming through every month now. You know, uh, right? The so. stimmy, the stimmy. Um, thank God we are blessed. The stimmy has been stimulating uh, through just work. But you know, if we could, if we had, you know, if I had a government stimmy come through, mm. like I might go like all grocery shopping at like Whole Foods. though, for real. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, why not? Because again, you can't go wrong with with the stuff there. You know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong. You know, you know what's so funny to me though. Side note, it's so funny to me. Like, you know, you be seeing all the uh, white people at Mariano's on Thirty Ninth. No shade, you know, live your life. But right. it's just like they don't even know they on like Project Grounds. Dude. No big facts. I'm like, they you don't even know these people that died for this Mariano. They don't even know what used to be there. <laughs> They don't know nothing about the Ida B. Wells over there, Jim. No Ida B. Wells for them, okay? So, we, me and you, we live in Bronzeville, and we be over at that Mariano's like, look at the white people. They happy look as the fuck. Drinking a Pinot Gris, walking around with the shopping cart and, and shit. Full glasses, okay? You hear full me? glasses. Like, them glasses full people, as fuck. But the thing is, like, they, um, so when that Mariano's first opened, it was like, oh my God, we got a Mariano's. We so excited, blah, blah, blah. They had the Oyster Bar. Rest, rest, peace, oyster rest, in, bar. rest in peace to the Oyster Bar. Rest in peace to the fresh sushi being made at, mm. to order. Mm. Um, they put a fried chicken shack in there now. And it's it's a fried chicken shack in there. I ain't been in there. It was like a fried chicken, like a fried chicken sandwich like thing. Like a Nashville yeah. hot chicken type yeah. of demo. Oh, wow. They had that, but that was where the Oyster Bar was. They still cooking you know, steaks and stuff for you or whatever over there, but it's just not the same. But when it first opened, it was like, oh my God, like, you know, we have arrived, like, where the money <laughs> is <arrived?" laughs> like, so you know, We I have know. arrived. You know, that goes to the neighborhood. You know when there's a Mariano's in your shit. You know, you know, you know what's coming. Look, if you own property, like, you are definitely where the money reside because, yeah. you know, the property value going up when you got a Starbucks and Mariano's. Fact, Starbucks is like, you know, the prerequisite for gentrification. Oh yeah, and, and Chipotle, and Chipotle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you see them pop up, oh shit, you know what's yeah, coming. Yeah, gentr- gentrification is here. You know what I'm saying? Then Mariano's, they drop that right there, like boom. Like, yep, and you know we're getting saying? a pizza. We're getting a pizza market over here soon. Well, oh, so yeah, yeah. Let's talk about pizza now. I haven't really been to Pete's that, that much because, you know, I'm not bad to many of them. Um, I, I heard Pete's has like the goat when it comes to hot bars. Is that true? Yes. Yes, that's wow. true. Wow. So when all the, um, you know, everything that the civil unrest that happened this summer happened um, because we live <laughs> and that's what I'm calling it. Um, civil unrest. <laughs> civil unrest. <clears throat> when all that happened, it was actually during a time where we needed to go grocery shopping. Like, oh and, man, you know, we was for real, like on lockdown. So we literally like cooking every single meal. So I like, you know, during, when that first happened, I was like, oh, okay, that Sunday. Remember, I was like, I'm gonna go to Mariano or whatever, go go grocery shopping. Well, the the shenanigans had, had started, and so oh, shit. it got it, they, they was going to pop it. <laughs> it was going to pop it, and we didn't think it was gonna be like it was, but it was. So anyway. All the stuff was shut down. So we ended up having to go to Pete's in... On 47th. On 47th. Yeah, 47th and Kesey. We 47th. Went 47th and Kesey. 47th. Yeah, 47th. <laughs> so we had to go on over to 47th Street. And I was like, it's a whole new world over here. It's like nothing ever happened. Mm. But no, they have everything over there. Their fruit is fresher. Like wow. they have like a lot of different like organic stuff that they don't even charge as organic. It's just a lot better. Mm. It's the goat, actually. Yeah, because I, I I think I've been in Pete's like literally maybe twice my whole life. Um, what? Yeah, I I ain't really been in Pete's like yeah. that. You know, not even in one hundred eighty seven. Yeah, I never. Man, first of all, look, hell no, nah, that that shit it be it be packed as hell over there. It'd be like a traffic jam in that parking lot. It'd be a traffic jam just trying to get up in there. That's my area. I grew up over there, man. Well, I mean, you know, that piece, you know, that piece got delicacies, okay? That's where you get your, that's where you get your, now you talking about being on some grill stuff. That's where you get your, that's where you get your food. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. How long that piece been there? A hundred uh, years. Uh, hundred years? At yeah, least, I never been at in least, that one. At least 40 years. Yeah, I never been in that one. Now, the only one I have been in um, was in the Burbs. It was in Cal City, I believe, or Lansing, one of them. I don't I know which that's one. That's a good one, but, if you, but the best, the best piece in, in my my humble opinion, the best piece in the city of Chicago is 114th Avenue. Oh, oh, so I mean, we we yeah. east. Right by Washington, by Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We east. As soon as we say Avenue O, oh, I'm like, okay. Boom. Well, I went to high school over there, but I still ain't been over there. Oh. That's that's, that's, that's the goat peach right there. That's the, oh, so so that's the goat peach with the goat food bar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna have to go to 114th Avenue. Oh, so um, 
So pizza's the goat food bar. Uh, Mariano's Whole Foods is where you go to get your pasture raised uh, meat. Um, you know, again, recipes more annoying. Y'all, y'all messing, y'all messing with jewels. Okay, it depends. So, it definitely depends when it comes to jewels, man. So I am a, I am a fake pescatarian. Um, whereas because I only I do eat chicken. Like chicken ain't really did nothing to nobody. But I do. It ain't eat, did nothing to nobody, man. I do more, way more seafood than I do chicken. Now I know how you feel about the crab legs, but I fools with the crab legs. Okay. Like, okay. I love crab, and I eat it frequently um and jewel always have like the better sale like they have like the 899 crab legs mm, they, they, they got the plug got the jewels jewels when they got was crab leg sale and buy one get one free shrimp and, <laughs> and <laughs> hey. i mean jewel is another place jewels is another place you should not be going on like you can't go like my mama used to do that now i realize that like maybe my mama was baller hey Look, jewel, it, it, you, like you said, it, it depends when it comes to the jewel because all jewels ain't built the same. So, they're not. Um, you know, our job was at jewels. And I, that one, on, I can't stand that one. The, the one on 75th? Uh, my, my first job was on 75th and Stony. That I can't stand that one. Job. Oh, you want to talk I, about. No, keep going. No, I can't either. And I mean, but the, I mean, that jewel, like a lady threw a watermelon at me. At Damn. That what the fuck is they going on? Food fight? What the hell? Child, that lady tried to give me the bag of damn watermelon. I'll never forget this. I was 16. This lady tried to give me the bag of damn watermelon at the jewels. Oh, hell no. Nah. She was tripping. You should have. Look. You, you almost lost your religion, didn't you? Look, you know what? I was 16, and like my parents really like raised me to be like, oh, you respect your elders. And I'm like, you know, yeah, I would never be really mean to anybody at that time. I mean, now I'm ignorant, so it's different. <laughs> oh. <Uh-oh. But, laughs> like, but back then, I was like, oh, my gosh, he threw this at me. Now you go tell somebody. <laughs> 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 Nowadays, this bird field hey, would be in jail. Gee, she threw a whole motherfucking wallet, but that's wild as hell. It hey, was, but look, look, though. It was ignorant. You want to talk about civil unrest, man. That jewel got hit hard. I saw. That, that jewel got hit hard. Yeah, yeah we, we was out there cleaning up, like, you know, the weekend after. I mean, the day after, you know, we was out yeah. there, you know, cleaning up. NBC News was out there and shit. Look, but they rebuilt that motherfucker, like, quick, though. You go in there, you can't even tell it was hit by a riot. You know you what I'm saying? What? I've been in there uh, since it, since all that happened, and I was like, so... It's nice cool. as fuck. Look, and this, it probably is, they use that insurance money. Right, hell yeah. Because before, <laughs> look, look, I ain't gonna lie to you. Before the civil unrest... Um, that shit was nah, bro. <laughs> you I know, know, what I'm, I you know, know. I'm like, what the fuck is this? But yeah, like you said, they use that insurance money, so it was a come up for them. Um, it, it kind of looked like the one on 63rd and Cottage or that's 61st. A really nice one. So it's nice as hell over there. That one is by my job, and I actually had never really went in there until um I started working over there, and I was like, oh, this classy. It's classy as fuck up in there. Oh, I'm this like, classy. Okay. You know, I think they, they had a piano up in there and shit. They look well. They took took the piano out because you know. Oh yeah. Do. But uh-huh. they did. They do have a make your own ramen bar in that thing. See, this is oh. my thing about a good grocery store. Okay, oh. you can't just sell groceries no more. You got to bring some other things with it. What what else are you bringing to the table? This is true. This is true because you you got to have that experience, you know. And I feel yes, like I feel I'm like sure. Jules Jules had to catch up with the times because before Jules wasn't on that. Because look, I used to I used to hate Jules when I was a kid because um my mom used to take my grandma to the uh, grocery store every weekend, right? Mm-hmm. And obviously I would go, I would come along. You know, I'm a kid. I ain't really trying to be in no motherfucking grocery store. You know, I'm hyper. You know all that. Um, and my grandma, rest in peace, I love her to death. But you know, she it took her forever to shop, bro. Oh you know that, that that's but like this is before Rona, you know. So this is when you could eat the fruit, you know what I'm saying? When it had yes. the water, she used to eat the grapes. Like, you want to taste the grapes? I'm like, yeah, I'll taste the damn grapes. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, we used to go to the jewel. I, I think it was over there in Bridgeport. We used to go to that one, we used to go to mm-hmm. one in Lake Meadows, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know, I was like on a jewels tour as a kid, you know, mm-hmm. so like I know how raggedy Jewels used to be, so to see how it is now, you know, when they offering this whole experience, yeah, you know, they didn't came up, you know. Okay, Jewels, I see you. I see you. A forgotten store that you talking about, you had to, like, you say you used to have to go on Jewels tours and stuff like that? Yeah, with Granny. With Granny, she had me out there. I had to go to the store with my mother, my two aunts, and my two aunts. Oh, you never left. And then... And this is out in this is out in Cal City, Lansing, 
And, 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 I'm a, and hindsight 2020, I'm going to I'm throw two out there for you. You talk about running to the stove. Cub foods and dominance. Oh, yes. He was about oh, yes. Cubs. Yes. Cub food and dominance. Look, yes, absolutely. Cub motherfucking foods. And then it became ultra, but cub foods. Cub foods used to be banging though. Banging. Ultra they had the little, they had the little coupon things. They had the little coupon things that you can pull. You know what I'm saying? I used to be yeah. pulling the shit out of them damn things just for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's back when you know, look. Funny thing, you mentioned Cub Foods, G. That's back when, like, the food stamps was actually dollars. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, food stamps was, was actual books. Was it was a, a book, book of food stamps. A book of food stamps. <laughs> Fucking groceries. Gr- the damn shopping cart would be packed to the yes. brim. You know what I was talking to somebody about the other day that, like, I was like, I'm showing my age and I'm really moving into auntie status here. Remember when they had them, uh, like, you could walk into the grocery store and they had those bins of candy? Oh, yeah. The Bratz candy? Man, I had yeah. Man what? I thought I that was an appetizer until I learned real. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to. I thought you were an appetizer to I did too, so my mama smacked them side of my right. head. Right, talk about some, oh, you shouldn't be eating that. Well, the shit, this shit's out here. Hey, that's funny as hell, man. An appetizer to shop. But you know what? I ain't going to stunt, though. You know, I just like, gee, you just took me back with that uh, big Jew, that Cubs food. God damn. Like, that was that was eons ago. Like That's back when River Oaks was River Oaks. Right. It was like, that's it was like, like River, was, when was, River Oaks was outside. It was outside. It was outside. <laughs> right, right. Mall, man. Cold ass outdoor mall. Yeah. yeah. Bruh, like. I see your status right now. Man. I just want to put that out there, Jim. Yeah, y'all old. Y'all old. We're old. <laughs> Well, I'm old too. If I remember this shit, better, young brother. Like, if I remember, because like, yeah, man, River Oaks was an outdoor mall. Um, Cub Foods, you know, was fucking packed every time we went. It was fucking packed. If you can't get there, you went down the street to Dominix. D- Dominix, hell yeah, Dominix. You know, which is Mariano's now, right? Was like yes. the same. It is. Yeah. So right. Mariano's right. bought whatever from the Dominic family, but you know, Mariano's is is kind of falling off a little bit because the family sold it to Kroger. Oh damn. I know it's it's upsetting. Um, yeah, it's Kroger, man. That's, that's the down south shit. I know, Kroger. yeah. Kroger, that was Big yeah. K coolers, Big baby. K coolers, Big P, <laughs> Big K coolers. Yes. Gee, 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 man, that's funny as hell. But you know, in hindsight, though, I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, I just like complain about you know having to go into jewels tours. My grandma, I eventually enjoyed that shit. You know what I'm saying? I eventually enjoyed that shit. You know, because like I, I feel like that's why I used to love that show, Supermarket Sweep. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to envision myself with my grandma. Like, you know what? We need to get all this shit so we can get this motherfucking money. You know what I'm saying? But we never got the goddamn money. You know, oh, all look, I got was I ain't gonna lie to you. I still don't like grocery shopping and I am not going to stop. I don't either. Podcast. I don't either. I don't uh, either. My husband grocery shops in this household. Um, okay. Okay. Like, I, do, okay. I, do, I, I go and pick up a few a, a few things. You know. You said a few things. A few things. But I, I don't like, I still to this day don't like grocery shopping. Like my mama yeah, traumatized me. It's a wrap. I loathe it. Like I, I loathe grocery and, shopping. And also, when I go, the other reason is because when I go, Julian be like, "You came back. You got like six bags, but you talked about you spent so much money." I still, I did. I spent the money. <laughs> you said I spent the money. I, I spent, spent the fifty dollars. I spent but, fifty dollars. Um, but I also did not use not no coupons. <laughs> I searched for nothing. Gotta use some coupons. Julian take $100 to come back with six weeks worth of groceries. Gotta use some coupons, man. <laughs> Gotta use them, bro. Like, that's a major key. Whether it's the digital joints, you know what I'm saying? I know. You, know, you, you gotta, you gotta. Yeah, that's why I'm not in charge of it. Because I know, I, look, I be trying to get in and out. I be looking at stuff that's on sale. And if, as long as it's on sale, it might be another coupon involved. But when it comes to groceries, not so much. Now, clothes, I'll take you somewhere to go get clothes, like a Macy's mm. somewhere. You won't feel like you stole because I Uh-oh. got every single thing on sale. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And it, I had run to a former student at a couple of these grocery stores from time to time. <laughs> you know, I'm <laughs> just saying. Hey, hey, man, look. Dominic's rest in peace. But you know I, you know, you know what's so funny about Dominic's? Um, Jordan, Jordan sued they asses. They was already like going out of business. Like, damn, Mike, you just got to win in everything. But I don't blame him, though, because they did use his likeness without his permission. Like, like Dominic's where you got your great American ticket and you take Chicago facts. tickets back. Facts, to- facts, facts, absolutely. You know, it was one right here on, um, it was one over there off Jeffrey. Yeah, that was, that was, that was like the longest, 
it was one there. It was one up north. It was like the longest standing Dominix that still stood after the after they got bought out. Mm-hmm. Then they got them up out of here, and now that's a grocery store too. I Truth think that know, that's actually a decent look. Like they they always got sales. Mm, I never been in there. I never been there. I heard it's nice though. Oh, yeah, you yeah you lied your neighborhood, man. Yeah, I heard it's nice. I heard it's nice. You know, I'm definitely check it out. They, they, they I, find me on the Facebook and be like, "Oh, we got a sale going." Big oh, sale. I'm well, like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, because yeah, because they know you the designated shopper in your household, so you know they like. And they know, yes. and they know, and they read my man like, "Shoot, you might want to put this gonna be such such degrees week. You might want to." Put some, charge some meats. I was like, yes, I do. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I do. And now yes, that is about to be the season of grilling, but you know, we're about to be back outside. So we definitely finna be outside. So you know everybody finna be grilling. Look, everybody I mean, finna be grilling. everybody house, okay? We can everybody wait. finna be grilling. Everybody finna be grilling just to grill because like you outside now. So like everybody just wanna grill. But see, last summer, that's what we did. We that's how we got through our Rona summer. We grilled almost we grill we probably should have bought some stock in charcoal. Yeah, <laughs> we grilled at least once or twice a week and on our patio and we that's how we got through it. We just grilled the whole time. And, and, it's and seafood boils. <laughs> yeah, it's peaceful, man. It's peaceful. You know what I'm saying? When you just, you know, you don't, sometimes you don't need to, you know, go out to a whole big ass event. I mean, that's cool, but you know, grilling, you know what I'm saying, with the fam, with your loved ones. I mean, that's just like, I ain't even going to say it's just a um, Chicago pastime. It's a pastime in general. You know? Yeah, I agree. Um, especially with us black folk, you know, uh, grilling going to bring us together. Because look, look, am I lying? And you know, I know y'all said y'all live near a funeral home. Child. Look, look, <laughs> look. Black, people, black people gonna find any I'm motherfucking like, reason to grill. Can't go down. So, black people gonna find any reason to grill. Let me tell Somebody you, dad, I, I, not, I don't, you know, God willing, we will not be by the funeral home this summer. God willing. But if so, I will tell you that it's been a couple of times where I looked at that funeral home and I'm like, if they they've had a drum session out there. See? Uh what else have they had out there? They had their own personal Bud Billiton parade. They got into a fight out there several times. People was arguing over a limo last week. I mean that funeral home be popping. Yeah. And, <laughs> and niggas, and look, I bet you they grilling too after all that shit set and done. You know what? I they haven't seen them bust out a grill, but I will not be shocked. Yeah. Like, look. Well, the house they going to. Yeah. They grill. Look, black people going to grill regardless. You, If you broke, we grilling. Fuck Period. It. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> like you said, we grilling. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Somebody just got a promotion, we grilling. We grilling. Oh, we, we ain't grilling. got to work tomorrow, we grilling. <laughs> you off the day? You off the day? We grilling. Niggas grilling, grillin', man. Niggas grilling. And you going to run to the stove. If it's 60 degrees, we grilling. If it's 40 degrees, we grilling. We grilling. <laughs> you know, we out here, bro. Like, and you know, but look, though, you know, it's two stores I will not set foot in to get no no meat, no chips, no wild wood pop, none of that shit. Look, fucking food for less. Well, food now, wait less. a minute. Now, wait a minute. I can't Get do food for less. I can't do. I'm traumatized. I'm traumatized. Okay, when everybody has done a stint, for the most part, if you lived in the city, after you finished school or whatever, you may have did your your stint at the Lake Meadow. So I did my stint at the Lake Meadow. So I my rent at the time for my little one bedroom was like seven fifty. So Ooh, I used to that go shit like a thousand and fifty hundred now. Nah. Look, I ain't no telling at this point. They they won't allow, I'm sure. But at the time, my my rent was seven fifty. So I was like, okay, boom, check it. I make this amount. This is how much my rent is for this amount. I could do like two weeks worth of groceries. So I think I budgeted out like seventy five dollars. So I used to go to Food for Less and come up. Okay, come up at Food for Less. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I- that's good. That's good. I did. I mean, now that I have other options, do I go to Food for Less? I still would go to Food for Less for certain things, but like they be having like uh, greens on sale for like 20 cents. Mm. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like a 20, like collard greens, like 20 cents a bundle. Like you can't beat that. You want to make some collard greens? That's that, uh, that's them Jim Crow prices. I mean, I'm just saying like, you know, I, I look, if I make collard greens, I'm making enough to freeze them. So, hey, look. I can't do it because I'm traumatized because I went into a location and, you know, it was a motherfucking rat up in that bitch. No! So, yeah. Jerry was in there. Jerry no! was in there. Jerry was in there living his best life. So That'll do yeah. it for me. Yeah, That'll so, and that, that was just one location. So, will it, is it all locations? Probably not, but that one, that one experience, I'm like, yeah, that's I've it. I've only been to the one on, um, uh, That's 47. it for true fans. And this one was actually in the Burbs, too, by the way, so. 147, what is it on, 87? 
Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to go with you to 187. People get shot over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, it's a little too, uh, little too rowdy over there for my blood. A little yeah. bit, a little, yeah. little bit, not a little too rowdy. Uh, I'm not fucking with fair play either, though. I, I, ain't never, I, ain't, I ain't never been in no fair play. That was my first job ever. Yes, that was my first job ever. I ain't fucking with them. I ain't fucking yeah. with fair play. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been in no fair play. That's the only thing in Markham that's still standing. Everything <laughs> else, everything else in Markham, fucking closed down. Fair play is still standing, bro. I ain't <laughs> said poor market. Yeah, I'm not, I ain't fucking with fair play G, and I'm not fucking with food for less. I mean, the skating rink, though, at least. Yeah, yeah, the skating rink's still there. But like, as far as like, you know, that that uh, shopping mall, Canterbury, all that shit gone. You know what I'm saying? From like back in the day, most Damn. motherfuckers closed. Fair play, the only thing that's still fair play in the Chinese food spot, New Walk. Damn, <laughs> they the only ones that's still going strong. Everybody else didn't close down. It's new spots up in there. It's a lot of baking storefronts. Yeah, Markham a goddamn ghost town. But that was my first job though, fair play. And I'm never going back. They tried to fire me, but I quit. I finessed them. I finessed them. You finessed them and it keep you? Gee, I finessed them. But I would never grocery shop at Fair Play though. Like I would go to Walmart and grocery shop before I go to Fair Play. No, I can't. Now let me tell you, me, I Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. Ain't no room, Walmart. The Walmart over by us. See, you can't go to that. No, Walmart. because that Walmart made me almost have to catch a case. Like, oh, I cannot. That's why you got to go to suburban Walmarts. No. I mean, it depends, though, because, like, shit, that Walmart Country Club Hills, that, nah, don't go there. I went there. Why did I go there one time? Don't go there. I went out there for some reason. Oh, I do remember why. Okay, so when I went away to college and I came back home, my parents had decided to completely buy a house in the Huntress because that was my daddy's idea. Walmart was the club. And we mm-hmm. wanted to go grocery shopping and everything was closed, but that Walmart was 24 hours at that mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. And we went out there. And I mean, That's how they get you. This was like a million years ago, though. Now, I haven't That's been there true. since. I tried yeah, to go yeah. Walmart. I can't stand yeah, Walmart, period. Yeah, I, yeah, me neither. Like, we go to Target. Wow. I go to Target. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we have evolved. Like, look, yeah. I'm not saying you got to, like, you know, break the bank because I don't believe in that. But... <laughs> You just Walmart. deserve quality, bro. You, you deserve you the best. Deserve. You deserve the best. You deserve the best. And Walmart ain't gonna give you the motherfucking best. They just gonna Walmart give you convenience. The worst. They just gonna give you convenience, man. You know, if I'm gonna go to a big box store for like some type of groceries, I'm going to Target. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, that I've never done. I've never done. Gro- I've been like, what? Well, no, no. But we're not even grocery shop per se. But what I'm saying is, if I'm gonna get some groceries from, if it's between Walmart and Target. I'm going to Target. Oh, yeah, you know Target. Saying? I'll Target yeah. all day. Yeah, but yeah. I ain't never walked out of Target without spending a hundred and something or two hundred and something. Like, that's why oh, I don't yeah, fool like that. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. I don't fool with Target. Like, like, you know, it's a social experiment. Like, you know, um, so next time y'all go to Target, uh, Big Jew, I want you to set your timer and see how long it takes y'all to come out of Target. Well, you know, it's, it's a social here, experiment here, with women. Julia won't go to Target here's with me. The, here's That's the thing. Okay, he's a smart man then. <laughs> here's the thing about marriage, Twiz. <laughs> There's certain things you're just not going to do with your wife. Okay. Going to Target is one of them. I'd be mm. like, honey, I'm going to Target two hours later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's funny as hell. Can yes, you come help me get this stuff out the car? It's a trap. It's a motherfucking trap. Don't do I it. I think they pump oxygen in there, like at the casino. Oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a trap, man. I ain't, I ain't fucking with. I ain't fucking with it like that, you know. But at the end of the day, though, if I'm running to the store. You know, it they they not really even on the list though. You know, you know, if we finna grill, they not even on the list really. So no, no, not I, I, yeah, not I know started. you said I know you said you was a fake pescetarian. Um yes. right. So do y'all mess with uh market fisheries on 71st and state? Yes. yes. Yes, absolutely. You know, best yes. seafood in the city. Now, when I make down. this some gumbo or whatever, I go to them because they have the authentic seasoning like that you can yeah. actually get that you really get from New Orleans, but they're the only ones in the, that I could find in the city um, that actually have that specific type of season, and they seafood so fresh. Right? Man, it's fresh as hell. Like, it's literally the best, you know, especially if you get there, like, within the morning hours, no later than, like, you know, 12, 1 o'clock, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta get there early. I I try to go, like, as soon as they open if I know know I'm gonna do it. Man, look, fucking, that whole goddamn fish market the size of a closet, but goddamn man that 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 seafood is on point like we you know we we had an airbnb in st louis last year mm-hmm. and the, um the airbnb owners they're from new orleans and they they set us out with so much seasoning like 
you know, season it from New Orleans, like just as a gift, like as a token of gratitude. Yeah. Man, that shit was amazing. Like, you know, we used to season, you know, seafood, crab legs, all type shit. And, you know, I don't really mess with the crab legs like that, but we was using that shit on anything we could get our hands on. Yeah. That shit was amazing. You know, man, like New Orleans, like what was that? Like two years ago when I went to New Orleans, like I just want to go eat. Yeah. So I flew to New Orleans and my line sister at the time was living in Houston. And I called her like when I was on my way on to the airport, like, hey, I'm coming to New Orleans. Like, if you want to meet me down here, like I'm just coming to eat. We ate our way Ooh. through New Orleans. And then we had um, we went to this market that they have like an open market, came home with bags of seasons. I mean, it was so good. Yeah. That's just that's just the go, and we ain't we ain't gonna skip over um you know that you you rich you just flying to New Orleans to eat. First of you all, know what I'm saying? you you ain't running to the store. You flying. You, you getting food all, out to eat. Twiz, you flying. You flying yourself out to eat. Twiz, you've known me for a while. You know it was a hookup all all the time. There's hookups. My daddy worked for American, and at the time oh. I was working for Hyatt. Okay. Yeah, life was good. Life was good. Life you was know? good. Life, you could run to the store anywhere. You know, shit. You know, you want to go to L.A. We go to L.A. Run to the no, store. No, child. Look, I can look. We gonna have to talk off offline about how <laughs> me and Judah ran up the block. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, life is good though. Yes. If you enjoyed this episode, I ask for two things as always. Number one, leave a five star review, and number two, pass it on to a friend who may enjoy it as well. 